Hello and welcome to Just Under 5 Minutes. I'm Ian and today we will be covering one of the greatest boxing legends of all time, Big George Foreman. Born on January 10, 1949, in Marshall, Texas, George Foreman is widely regarded as one of the greatest boxers in history. His extraordinary journey from a humble beginning to becoming a champion, his subsequent downfall, and his remarkable comeback in his 40s are the stuff of legends. Foreman's boxing career began when he was a troubled teenager. He joined a local boxing gym as a means to stay out of trouble and found success quickly. In 1968, he won a gold medal in the heavyweight division at the Olympic Games in Mexico City, capturing the attention of the boxing world. In 1973, Foreman faced the formidable Joe Frazier for the heavyweight title and emerged victorious with a second-round knockout. His raw power and relentless style in the ring earned him the nickname Big George. Foreman defended his title successfully, defeating opponents like Ken Norton and Joe Roman. But his most famous fight came in 1974 against Muhammad Ali in what was known as the Rumble in the Jungle held in Kinshasa, Zaire now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Ali, considered an underdog, utilized his rope-a-dope strategy, allowing Foreman to tire himself out before delivering a knockout punch in the eighth round. This defeat marked a significant turning point in Foreman's career and sent him into a downward spiral. Following the loss to Ali, Foreman faced personal and professional challenges. He suffered from depression and questioned his boxing career. In 1977, after losing a fight to Jimmy Young, Foreman experienced a religious awakening and became an ordained Christian minister. He retired from boxing and dedicated his life to preaching, eventually founding the George Foreman Youth and Community Center in Houston, Texas. However, Foreman's boxing spirit was rekindled in the late 1980s, and he made a remarkable comeback in his 40s. In 1994, at the age of 45, Foreman faced the heavyweight champion Michael Moore. Despite being considered an underdog, Foreman displayed his immense power once again, knocking out Moore in the 10th round to become the oldest heavyweight champion in history. This victory solidified his status as a true boxing legend. Since retiring from boxing for the second time in 1997, Foreman has become a successful entrepreneur and television personality. He has endorsed various products, including the George Foreman Grill, which became a household name and a tremendous commercial success. Foreman's post-boxing career has brought him considerable financial success, and he has enjoyed a prominent presence in popular culture. As for trivia, George Foreman has a total of 76 professional boxing victories, with 68 of those wins coming by knockout and only five losses. His boxing record is an impressive testament to his skill and power inside the ring. Regarding controversies, Foreman faced criticism for his initial refusal to fight Muhammad Ali, which was perceived by some as a lack of courage. However, he later expressed regret for his decision and acknowledged Dolly's greatness. Currently, George Foreman lives a relatively private life in retirement. He occasionally appears on television and continues to be involved in various charitable endeavors. His legacy as a legendary boxer and his impact on the world of sports are firmly secured, making George Foreman an enduring figure in the history of boxing. Thank you for watching and let us know who is your favorite in the world of boxing. Take care.